So we're uh, day two. Two of our four day workathon. So this might be a split day. So first plan is to go back, finish the little bit of section of fence we have, and then uh, we came up with a slightly modified new plan for our little corral area. So yeah. we're going to put up some wire there, which saves some some cattle panels for. So later. we may be a little bit more than the hour that we thought last night because we're going to do a few more extra things. So we're going to get moving on that quickly because we're keeping everything in the barn until we can run them down. Yep. So we're so going to we're going to get that they're done a little cranky. and then we'll come back at, depending on how long that takes us, we'll come back and see what we get up to for the rest of the day. We're just finished. We got the horse electric fence sorted out. Finish the perimeter of pasture two, and uh, did our little tweaks to the uh, sheep circle. So see if they uh, figure it out here. Oh, I think Lila's going to figure it out. She hasn't uh, <laughs> very much creatures of habit. If you change something, they uh, they don't figure it out quick. Oh, one of them's on the right side of the fence. Two of them are on the right side of the fence. They're like, there's grass. These two slow folks haven't figured it out yet. Nope, they haven't got the memo. They're gonna Ooh. eat all along the fence line first where you brush cut. That's all right, there's a lot of food in that pasture, so. So there's Happy everybody, dance. there's everybody out. Into pasture two. Yay, we achieved something. We woot, did. Woot. And if you look on this side, you can see the, uh, see if I can do it right down the fence. You can, uh, you sort can see of, how crooked we did. Uh, but you can see the difference between the side that they've been in and pretty much eaten what they want and the side that they haven't been in. So this should give them food for quite a while. Well, this one's what, an acre and a half? Uh, it's bigger than that one. Yeah, it's, a, it's, it's at least an acre. I don't know if it's an acre and a half, but pretty big. But anyways, that's done. So we're going to uh, leave them to it this afternoon and uh, try to see what else we get up to. I'm making time to do one of the things that I absolutely love about homesteading. It's supposed to be 18 degrees today. Oh, she wants to go. Hang on. Oh. We're riding and Bucky is being ponied behind us on this ride. He needs exercise just as much as this big beast does. Right, Nick? Let's move on. Come on, Buck. Just get to see her ears. <laughs> Bucky keeps wanting to stop and eat because this is beautiful green grass along the path. It's really hard to have them not stop to eat in this part. One day this will be a pasture. So we're uh, back up at the greenhouse where we kind of left off. Starting project number? Two. Two <laughs> on the list for the weekend. Yeah, it's uh, definitely, well, we're not going to get it probably finished, but we're hoping to get everything except the roof actually put on so the yeah the rafters will be up but we don't have the plastic uh, roofing yet so we and will be getting it the inside will be done but that's oh all but can maybe be done we'll later. get ambitious who knows See, we just fixed the window and dropped it down because uh <laughs> we had the measuring error before i <laughs> measured it wrong but and yeah. so we've made it bigger so hopefully we haven't gone too big now i don't think so maybe so we'll get this window up and then we'll probably See about putting some sides on and uh, mm -hmm. and our rafters we're going to start hopefully although our sun is setting yeah. but in we all fairness the, we may just get the side done and you know what that's still something yeah and in all fairness I think the sheep are pretty darn happy getting out in their pasture today well that'll make a big difference tomorrow well and it makes a big savings on hay yeah so saves us having pastures done saves us at least seven fifty a day yeah pretty much yep because they're eating more than a bale a day yeah anyways. Just so you know how much sheep cost. It's uh, starting to actually get dark here, but I uh, wanted to do a little bit of a progress update on where we got to today. So, as you can see, I'm going to go a little closer here. We got that window in and the wall, the outer wall on. We also took some extra, I guess say, offcuts from. Uh, 
doing this in deck boards. We took uh, offcuts from that and we've gotten a bit more than, uh, about half, about halfway up the, uh, the big window side. So, not looking too bad. When you come inside, you can see all of our dirty windows. There's our uh, new wall from the inside. Really kind of getting excited about what we're going to, uh, how we're going to set the inside of this up to maximize space. But, uh, oh, I've got a couple of little pieces left to do on the sort of main frame below the roof. And then hopefully tomorrow we will get all the rafters, basically everything assembled for the roof. Um, which we still have yet to purchase, but it's coming. So, on that note, not bad. We did uh, some really good progress on fencing. Got the sheep out, got a few things sorted, uh, so got that finished. Uh, even made some progress on our little circle. Octagon, hexagon, whatever that is back there. Um, and we've got uh, this wall of the greenhouse built, so I'm going to go and uh, pick up and go start helping Stephanie do some chores and we will come back to this particular job tomorrow and uh, see how far we get. But uh, anyways, on that note, can't even see the sunset out through our windows.